Hey guys, and welcome back to the Dusty Ranch. So I decided we were going to get this little knotty log out of the way before we moved on to that really nice veneer log. So join me as we slice this bad boy up into some 2x8s. And I'm going to walk you through a couple of techniques that I've adopted recently that helps me deal with this really heavy material. Because at the end of the day, as great as this big white oak is, it's not worth living with back injuries. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. So freshly cut white oak can weigh up to 65 pounds per cubic foot, which means each one of these 2x8s is weighing in somewhere around 86 pounds. And it's anybody's guess at how much these cap cuts will weigh. Now I ran the LT35 manual mill for about seven years and I would have turned every one of these logs by hand and probably touched every board and my back would have paid the price. But at this point in my life and the life of my business, it's my singular goal to not touch these boards if I can manage it. Now recently, with these cap cuts, I've started cutting them into firewood length as they come off the bill. It takes a little more time, but before I was piling these cap cuts up and eventually getting around to cutting them into firewood. And I need firewood, so it makes sense to spend that few extra minutes now so that I don't have to worry about it later and it saves my back in the long run. This is one of the beautiful things about the hydraulics on the mill. As the fletches come off, I can use that log clamp and flip them off of my cant. And then I can go to sawing again. I love the grain in this white oak. Guys, just wait until you see what comes out of this veneer log that we're going to cut on the next episode. I hope that someday somebody figures out a way to let this sawdust fall out and not get piled up on top of the battery box here. Okay, confession time. I really don't like spiders. Like, I mean, really don't like them. And I felt one crawling on me. And I knew I had one crawling on me, but I didn't know where it was at. And I was freaking out just a little bit. So, a little bit later on, I did find him. And thankfully, it was just a little granddaddy long leg. But still, I do not like spiders. I just don't like them.
once I get a batch of lumber sawed, I'll move it over to the edge, use the skid steer forks and pick it up. It's a lot easier to do this with the forks in the before with the LT35. I was loading logs with the grapple, and now I pretty much keep the forks on all the time. It makes moving the lumber around so much simpler. And then all I have to do is slide these heavy boards as opposed to picking them up and carrying them where I need them. This log would take me approximately 30 minutes to 45 minutes to saw. And then it takes a little extra time to stack the lumber with the stickers. And I've started doing that on every saw job because people may or may not pick lumber up in a timely manner. And there's no reason for that good lumber to go to waste if it sits dead stacked for too long. makes a difference when you're doing this all day long. Thanks for hanging out with us and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Until we see you next time, keep it dusty. Yeah.